To get this set up for a wall installation or a under the eaves or ceiling mount installation, pay close attention because there's a bit of work involved here. On the bottom of the mounting bracket, you'll find the wall plate. Push up on it just like this to remove it. On the other side, you'll find the decorative plate. Pull on it just like this to remove it. The decorative plate is just there to hide the screws. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the mounting bracket from the bottom of the camera just like this. Once it's all separated, you can go ahead and reattach the battery cover back to the bottom of the camera by twisting it clockwise. This is not necessary, but you can tighten this little screw right here to prevent someone from easily accessing the battery compartment of your camera. On the back of the camera, you'll find this circular hole with a rubber plug. Remove it. I had a very hard time removing this. I had to use a really small flathead screwdriver to assist. This is where you'll reattach the mounting bracket. Now that the mounting bracket is installed on the camera, you can adjust it back for a on the wall installation or you can swivel it up for a under the eaves installation. Let's do a wall install. Grab your wall plate and grab four screws. Also grab a power drill with a Phillips head attachment. Utilize the four screw holes to attach the wall plate to the wall. Ensure that the arrow is pointing up. Ensure that the arrow on the mounting bracket and the wall plate are both facing up. Line the mounting bracket up with the wall plate and pull down on it to secure it. Next, tighten the security screw on the right to prevent the camera from falling off. This mounting bracket is definitely flimsy and cheap, not worthy of a pro camera, but you should be able to adjust it to a decent viewing angle.